Okay folks, I hope you caught my first video on the uh, differences between uh, pharmaceutical grade fish oil and food grade fish oil. And today I'm going to expound a little bit uh, on omega-3 fatty acids, specifically fish oil and a couple of other types of fatty acids. We're going to do another video on the differences between the short chain omega-3s, that's the plant-based, and uh, marine and animal based omega-3 fatty acids shortly. But this one is specifically about the different types and formats of omega-3 fish oils and some of the other marine based products that you can get out there and what my research has led me to conclude. So, first of all, I mentioned in the uh, previous video on the pharmaceutical versus food grade fish oils the format of the omega-3 fatty acids and I want to re repeat that. In natural caught fish oil or if you eat salmon or some other oily fish you get fish oil in a triglyceride format and that means three glycerol molecules one two three with three fatty acid chains hanging from them and one of those fatty acid chains is either EPA or DHA and the other two are fish fat. Once again what happens here is that the natural line caught fish oil or the uh, fish that you get in the store and you eat if you're willing to incur the pollution that is in those fish is not a particularly concentrated source of EPA or DHA those vital omega-3 fatty acids that you want and uh, let's just do a quick review on that EPA, DHA, omega-3 versus omega-6 because it's going to come up later omega-3 fatty acids of the uh, EPA and DHA variety are the ones that are found in marine life specifically fish oil and they are the anti-inflammatory uh, fatty acids the omega-6 are the pro-inflammatory and they are primarily found in plant-based uh, and other nut-based uh, food sources. So when you eat fish or you take a food-grade fish oil, you are getting EPA and DHA, but you're getting it in a very unconcentrated form. Still, there's a lot of people whose agenda is natural, untouched by human hands, etc., etc., and that's great. Uh, but the problem, as I explained before to you, is it leads to pollution uh, not being able to be removed from this fish oil or from the fish. So if you're willing to incur the toxins and the risk of mercury toxicity, eat fish. If you're willing to incur other toxins, including arsenicals, polyvinyl chlorides, polybiphenyls, uh, furans, and dioxins, uh, then if you feel that the, the uh, FDA is, is uh, a governing body that you trust and you believe in uh, the standards set by them that a little bit is okay for you, then you can take one of these other uh, unprocessed formats of omega-3s. But what you're getting is a triglyceride form with one EPA, one DHA. Now the form that I sell is an ethyl ester. Now right now ethyl esters are, that's a bad word, oh that's a processed, oh that's a nasty thing, but the thing about ethyl esters are is the ethyl ester form of, of any fat is a naturally occurring fat in the body. One of the dirty little secrets they don't want you to know is that there's an interchange in the body between triglycerides ethyl esters and phospholipids. These are the formats that fats flow between and there are enzyme systems in the body that have been there since before we walked out of the ocean, which is probably by the way why we need so much fish oil. Uh, they've, been in, they've been part of the human biology and, and the uh, teleologic chain that we come from uh, for billions of years. So to say that ooh, there's enzymes that are required to, to change the format is a bad thing is absolute nonsense and you'll hear that from uh, the krill people in particular. Uh, that's ridiculous, okay? The, the body's been interchanging triglycerides, ethyl esters, to phospholipids and back and forth uh, for, for eons. So that's the first thing I want you to know about ethyl esters. They, they do exist in the body naturally. They are a natural form of fat and there are, are normal uh, coexistent enzymes there to, to handle them. Now what about this concept that enzymes are bad? Well, if enzymes are bad, then we wouldn't be able to digest food. We wouldn't be able to create any biochemical uh, reactions in our body. So uh, this concept that you have to use enzymes and that's bad is, again, nonsensical. Uh, I'm not sure, well, I am sure why they say that, but uh, there is no science behind that and I want you to understand that. The next format that's available is a retriglycerided format, and that's where they take an ethyl ester and they turn it back into a triglyceride molecule. Now, the problem with that one is, is that that triglyceride molecule has three glycerol molecules, and now it has an EPA and a DHA molecule every place. And that never exists in the human body, so this is not a naturally occurring molecule in the human body. The reasons why people do these things and the reasons why these people say these things is because they're trying to make a bioavailability argument. They're trying to say, well, our product is more bioavailable, therefore it's better for you. 
Now when I get into the differences between krill and fish oil, I'm going to show you studies that were done by the krill manufacturers that show that there's absolutely no difference. It is possible that you could make a claim that maybe, if you believe in company funded studies, maybe there is more bioavailability at a lower dose. But clinically, dose for dose, you cannot show any differences uh, in, in any formats of these things, except of course triglycerides versus all the others. Okay, So the food grade triglyceride fish oil is really the least effective, it's the least concentrated, it's the most polluted. The ethyl ester format is highly concentrated and this by the way is what the pharmaceutical industries use and I almost never agree with the pharmaceutical industry but in this case I think they did the right thing. They chose an ethyl ester form because it can highly concentrate it. It's been proven, it's been studied, there are tens of thousands of studies out there on that format and, and uh, also triglycerides. There are not ten thousands of studies on the retriglyceride form or the phospholipid form. Most of the studies, as far as uh, I know, as a matter of fact, all the studies, as far as I know, uh, that are in those other formats are actually company funded. So the krill people are paying for their own studies, and so the retriglyceride people. If you see a study that comes out of Canada, if you see a study that comes out of uh, Norway or Sweden, northern Germany or Denmark, because that's where all these studies come from, guess who's paying the bill? When you pay the bill for a study, you expect a positive result and you usually get it, and that's been proven over and over and over again. So if you want to go on PubMed or any of the other big scientific databases, you can find out that what I'm saying is absolutely true. Type in fish oil, look at ethyl esters, you'll see an incredible, incredible volume of information. Dr. Richter, who was part of the uh, European Commission on Lipid Metabolism, made a statement recently at one of the conferences, which I happen to have in front of me, and I'm going to read to you that I think sums it up best about these various and different formats. He says, it is tiring to hear claims that omega-3 acid triglycerides, etc., are more bioavailable than omega-3 ethyl esters. These claims come exclusively from companies that are selling omega-3 triglycerides, which are now increasingly losing ground against the ethyl ester products, which are available in higher concentrations and greater purity. And that's what I told you in the pharmaceutical grade video. Higher quality, higher purity, higher concentrations. That's what we offer at Dr. Day's Best. Now you're an intelligent person. You don't have to believe me. You can go out and search all this on the internet. Just don't search internet marketing gurus. Go to scientific sources like PubMed and you'll see that I'm telling you the truth and you can make a decision about what everybody else is telling you. Thank you for your attention.